Diablo 2 Resurrected Patch 2.5 just went live, and this comes with the Season 2 coming up on October 6th, as well as the Sunder Charms with it. The other thing to note is that Terror Zones are now in 2.5. This does mean that the Terror Zones will be on non-ladder. So that is something that's good to hear. So what is a Terror Zone and what are some of the updates since last time? So basically these zones scale with your character, the person who made the game. And this zone will be you know, at least two, it'll be base two levels higher and up to five levels higher when you're talking about elite packs. So in hell, this will mean um, level like 99, level 98, 96, all that stuff. And the nightmares you can see here as well. So this means it's going to be a lot easier to actually hit 99. And you don't need to just kill the three bosses over and over Diablo Nilthak Bale. Now in order to actually unlock these terror zones, you have to defeat Bale per difficulty. So that difficulty, I believe, probably corresponds with the Terror Zone that you can use in that difficulty. So if you want to use a Terror Zone in Normal, you have to kill Normal Bale. If you want to use one in Nightmare, you have to kill Nightmare Bale, Hell Bale, etc. Now, how would you know where to go for these Terror Zones? Because they are on a rotation for every hour. Well, there's actually a bunch of different ways to actually see it. So we have the unique icon that's on the monster's name, on-screen text, special audio cue. It's also visually indicating that there's a terror zone. And then there's in-game text on the auto map that's right here where it says terrorized. So that's, that's another thing. In addition to that, they just added another thing where the icon and the, the name is in purple. So these things are changed here. So if we, it's basically the closest waypoint to the terror zones which is a nice little quality of life for people and then they have the final list here which uh you guys can find the link in the description if you guys want to go over all that stuff there's a bunch of bug fixes as well just trying to cover the highlights here and the major changes now with the new ladder that means that the season one characters and their loot actually moves over to non-ladder because the new ladder is coming and what happens here is it looks like they're just gonna have these tabs where you can just hit a check mark to look at your past like ladder stuff and then it's like a remove only stash so you can't you're not getting additional stash tabs you're getting remove only that way you can extract that you will have the entire season to remove it but if you don't remove it then the items are permanently lost there are new sunder charms coming to ladder 2 and these things have uh, updates to them as well if you actually were following in the PTR. And we're going to go over them real quick here. Basically, the term Sunder means that if a monster was immune, 100 or above resistance, the monster will be 95% regardless. And this is before anything else applies, like Conviction or Lower Res or anything like that. Um, so which means it's very, very strong, it's very, very efficient, and it's good for a lot of your characters. They're going to be on Season 2 ladder exclusively, and the Unique Charm is only going to be dropped from Monsters of Champion, Unique, or Super Unique, or Boss difficulty. So they're not going to drop from the regular trash mobs in the area. So make sure you take out the actual Elite Packs. Now the Sunder function is not going to be working on players at all. And like I said before, it reduces before all modifiers. In addition to that, the pets, the summons, and your minions were not being affected by the Sunder Charm at all. But now it seems, now that 2.5 is live, they made a fix for that and it does work. So I'm still curious if it, that includes your mercenary. I'd assume it does, but we'll have to see how it all plays out. They also made the negative stats a varying role from what it was before. So they made it a little bit better than it could be and they made it a lot worse than it could be. Which I kind of like the varying role, it kind of feels Diablo 2-esque. So for the magic one, we have 45 to 65. Physical one is 10 to 30. This one, I actually really like this change a lot. 10% is not bad at all. Then we have cold rupture. This one's 70 to 90, and all of these ones are 70 to 90. So the cold, fire, light, and poison are all 70 to 90, but I really do like the physical change. It's not nearly as negative as it was before, unless you get a 30. 
30, 30 is rough. So I, I do like that. And they talked about Cold Mastery. And they said they're not going to do anything about it this season. They said it seems fine and balanced or whatever. It's whatever. It doesn't have significant power over others. But I think they just ran out of time and had to say something. Now just going over some of the patch notes and some of the bug fixes and various things like that. Uh, you can go and read them all for yourself in the link below. But they made it so you can actually like drop the cube properly with quick quick drop and you can move your belt quickly uh, on controller the quick equip is really cool um, basically what they did is they added for like mouse and keyboard they made it so you can like control I believe it's control to the shifter control but I think it's control left click on like let's say a piece of gear that you have equipped and it moves into the stash or probably in the cube too, it might work in the cube. And then you can use shift click in order to just go from the stash and equip something and swap it out real fast. So it's pretty cool. I do actually really like this function quite a bit. It adds a lot of quality of life and some speed. So you don't have to spend as much time in town doing stashing. And that's just listed right here with the quick equip from their character and mercenary. One thing I'm actually really excited about is the the new modding functions that are actually going to be coming. They're f allowing us to fix a lot of the bugs that I have. Not everything for sure, but one of the things, for example, that could be fixed now is the mercenary icon and there'll be more functionality to the game. As far as if I wanted to do some like terror zone stuff or change the, the level areas and things like that. This does come with a downside though, because when you change things in item stat cost dot text, this is a specific file in modding that when you mess with this stuff, it makes the game crash. So, and corrupts your save folders. So what I'm going to have to do, what everybody's going to have to do if you're playing my mod or playing single player mods, make sure you save your characters until modders like us try to figure out exactly what items need to go. It seems like it's going to be resistance items, like everything that has resistance on it, but I want to go and test all this stuff like damage reduction and all that stuff. I need to go and test all this to make sure that we know exactly what is what needs to be pitched and dropped on the ground in order to bring as much over to the new patches that we can. So again, you don't have to even patch at all ever again if you don't want to lose things, but going forward for like BT Diablo and stuff like that, um, or any modders, they're probably going to be able to, or they're probably going to be wanting to use these new functions and make it so they have more ability. You're also going to be able to work things like mercenary AI, it seems. They're moving a lot more things out of hard coding and bringing it into soft coding, which means basically modders like me can actually go and change some things around. So I'm really excited about that because the mercenaries are stupid. They're very stupid. And there's other things that are going to be great to change as well. And then we saw at the very bottom here, this image. We don't know what this means. What does this mean? We don't know. So anyways, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you found this update quick. I tried to get it out as fast as possible. Much love. Have a great day. You're all beasts.